Introduction to the course, part three. So as I was explaining, um, you only need to take the first three exams and the five quizzes. That's all that's absolutely necessary. Um, after you've done that, so the third exam, Monday, November 30, right? So after that point, you will have, right? You get that exam back. You'll have done the three exams. You'll have done the five quizzes. You'll have studied up to unit 16. At that point, you can fill in this grade maze here, um, which comes after the, the grading section. So you've got these five quizzes. These are the units they're on. So these are all gonna be out of 12. So whatever scores you got for the, um, for the quizzes, right? I'll be sending, emailing you back your quizzes individually. You'll have 60 points for that, right? Three exams. Uh, 160 times 3 for 480 total points for the exams. Uh, 480 plus 60, that's 540, okay? So you've got a certain score out of 540 gives you your provisional grade based on three exams and the five quizzes, right? With a maximum course of A minus, so it's explaining. So whatever that grade is, right? It's just whatever your number is divided by 540, you get a certain percentage and um, Whatever that percentage is, that's the grade you get as per this grading chart, right? It's all strict, strictly by the numbers, right? That's all that goes into your grading. And whatever you grade you have there is the worst you can do in the course. If you take either of the next, if you take either of the next two exams, the fourth or the final, so you can only take one of the fourth exam or the final exam. You can take none of them. You can walk away at that point. <clears throat> or you can take the fourth exam, which you should if you're going for an A or you can take the final exam if you want to try and bump up your score. But if you take them, if you take one of them and bomb that exam, we I treat it as if you had if you didn't take the exam at all, right? So you you get the as it as it explains here, we take the best of your two um, of your two grades. So the provisional grade or the other grade, we give you the best whatever the best score is. Um, so if you if you take it and bomb it, it doesn't matter. You can't hurt yourself by taking it, um, but you can improve your grade. But anyway, whatever you have on the provisional grade out of 540, look at your percentage. If you're happy with that grade, you can walk away, right? So you'll be done with the course by November 30. Um, you can go and concentrate on other courses. And if you're happy with your grade at that point, um, yeah, walk away. But if you're not happy, if you want to try and boost up your grade, if you're if you're not in shot of an A, take the final exam out of 160, try and boost up your grade. Um, but if you're going for an A, and you if you are in shot of an A, you really should uh, watch the next watch the lectures on the on the next two units, unit 17 and 18, and take the fourth exam out of 100. If you're sort of an A student by the time of the at the end of the third exam, so if you are in fact within shot of an A at that point, you really should uh, take the last two units, do that course, do, do that um, exam, because if you have done well enough to get an A, to be within shot of, shot of an A by the end of three exams, you'll probably find units 17 and 18 easy enough that you can in fact get the A. Okay, so that's it. Uh, students always find <laughs> that explanation very confusing um, and I usually answer many questions at this time but we're all online but other than that schedule is pretty straightforward as I said um, it's completely entirely course based uh, sorry text based right it's just clank you just read the lecture read unit one watch the lecture read unit two watch the lecture do exercises be aware of when the quizzes are in, and exams are on <clears throat> you'll be getting them <coughs> excuse me you'll be getting them by email returning them by email. I will be returning them to you by email. Um, and that's it. All right. So in the next part, I will actually start teaching unit one of the book and introducing you to logic.